Uh, welcome back, everybody. We're, you're watching uh, Cape Rugby TV here with us. We're talking about the Western Province score, Western Province Club Rugby 7s. Uh, in studio with me, Jerome Parvato. We're going to take a look at the results from Region 2, Pool A and Pool B in a second. Um, uh, Jerome, um, the interesting thing about the 7s the is that because you guys are playing on two different fields, uh, Region 3 is not able to see what the competition looks like. And of course, Region 1 and 2, who's currently playing at Crownfontein, they don't know what's happening at Goodwood. So there's an interesting dynamic there. It is, yeah. So it's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be tough when, when uh, for example, Hamilton's in falls by in all the teams playing on this side. So whether it, the teams go through or whatever, it's going to be it's going to be sort of neutral. Uh, they don't know what's going on there, and they don't know what's going on in Goodwood in in, yeah. in Crownfontein. So it's also interesting, yeah, it's good. All right, folks, let's quickly just take a look at some of the results then from uh, uh, Region 2 and Pool A. Uh, and of course, uh, Helderberg um, with a win over Blue Stars and then Kales River with a win over Police and Kales River another, another win then over uh, Blue Stars. And, um, and then uh, Police 7-5 over Strand United. Helderberg with a win, first win. Helderberg with a second win. And uh, then, of course, um, Kylemore, well, with a win over Blue Stars, and Kales River with a win over Strand United, and Kylemore then with a win over Strand United. So, Jerome, if we look at some of those um, uh, results there, Helderberg looks like they've done pretty well on the day, as well as Kylemore having done pretty well on the day. So, two teams there, um, and in fact, of course, um, Kales River. So, two teams there, three teams that in terms of these results that we're looking at, um, looking unbeaten. Yeah, they do, yeah. And uh, um, I mean, Kyle Moore is also doing pretty well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it, it seems like they're the top teams there in, in that side. So, yeah. yeah. So, that's, of course, those, of course, the results from uh, Pool A uh, in Region 2. Let's quickly take a look at uh, Region 2 Pool B's results. Salorians uh, went down to Whistling Wheels, uh, and then they went down to Peniel Villages. And then St. George's with a win over uh, Whistling Wheels. And Eostura Field coming away with their first victory. And Durbel with a win over Wheels. And St. George's with a win over Salorians. And then uh, Durbel with a win over Eostura Field. And St. George's with a win over Eostura Field. And Durbel then with a win over Peniel Villages. But let's take a look at some of the highlights. NTK against Goodwood. <laughs> continue um uh that was of course NTK and goodwood uh a bit of a derby there jerome yeah um i was joking with the coach before the game uh ruan mostert mossy yes i said to him mossy you have to win here there's no relegation or there's no you have to win or you out so you, there's no second chance or he was laughing <laughs> about the relegations but um dave they've got two good coaches i mean i saw uh Sabalos and natlo also helping him He's uh, have a bit of an injury now, so it's good to see that he's, he's helping with his uh, experience in sevens. It's, it's good to see that he's helping there at NNK, and I'm uh, obviously Mossy, an ex-sevens player, played a lot of sevens rugby, so you can see um, the two of them, their hand in, in NNK, playing yeah. in the sevens. Uh, let's take a look now at your results from um, Region 3, Pool A. So many results, folks, but... There you can see it on screen there now. Hamilton's uh, with a win over Gardens. A win for Kelly's. SK Warmers with a win over Fora. Then a win for Collegians over Fora and over Gardens. And then Hamilton's with their win over uh, Young Ideas. Uh, Gardens coming through against Rangers. SK Warmers with a win. Uh, Collegians with a win over Young Ideas. 
SK Warmers then went down to Gardens. And, of course, uh, then Hamilton's with yet another win. Rangers with a win. And SK Warmers then going down to Kelly's by just two points. And then uh, Rangers with a win over Young Ideas. And Collegians, 22-7 over Kelly's. So a couple of mixed bag results there, um, uh, uh, Jerome. If I, if I look at SK Warmers with one or two big wins, and then they went down to Gardens. Yeah, they went down to Gardens, and they went down to, to Kelly's also. So it's, uh, you can see, if you watch that game, you can see it was personal between their clubs, the old rivalry. So but it just but goes it to good. show again, you know. I mean, SK Warmers dominant in Super League B, yeah. promotion to Super League A in the 15s. Kelly's is a regional team. And they're coming Couldn't out and, uh, and, 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 and showing that uh, running rugby can, oh, that one can specialize in sevens. Exactly. That's what I said earlier. Yeah. It's just on how you use the field, the width of the field, in your pace. Yeah. It's, it's Let's take a look at the results. A region 3, Pool A, uh, Pool B at least. Uh, Hamlets uh, with a win over Retreat and then Hamlets with a win over Peninsula. Busy Bees scored their first win over Violets. Belhar with their win. False Bay with the victory over Violets. False Bay with a win over Peninsula. And then NTK with a win over Hamadias. And then Busy Bees uh, with a win over Young Wesleys. Hamlets smiling against Violets. And then Busy Bees with two in a row um, against uh, Peninsula and Retreat. And then Hamlets with yet another win as Tigerberg uh, scored their final win also over Hamadia. Um, let's move now to your logs, folks. Um, region 1. We'll start off with Region 1 in Pool A. Um, hands and Hearts are, of course, sitting at the top of the pile. They've got 15 log points, followed by Belleville, uh, then it's Brackenfell, Crowfontaine, and Scottsdean and Delft. Uh, Jerome, if we look at that pool there, uh, hands and Arts, of course, um, Hands and Arts and Belleville, they are tracking at the top of the, at the top of the log on Super, in, in, I nearly said Super League A, but <laughs> Pool A. And then, of course, Brackenfell and Crowfontaine. So, Brackenfell and Crowfontaine are still in with a bit of a shout. They're going to have to get the wheels turning, so to speak. Yeah, they can still, they can still do. Uh, I think um, Scott's didn't actually, surprisingly, they're, they're down there because they played some good rugby at the, yeah. uh, the games that I watched from them. So, yeah. But, yeah, I think Brackenfell and Cryfontaine can still... I guess they'll come through. Yeah. All right. Of course, Hands and Hearts and Belleville will have to make, uh, keep their winning streaks, though. Um, region 1, Pool B's logs, folks. NTK sitting at the top, followed by Tigerberg, and then Elsie's Refere, of course, uh, joint, and then Bella. So, Jerome, this pool here, um, Pool B in Region 1, it, it's still pretty wide open. Yeah, any of this in the four, top four can still make it. I mean, these are Blazers, I'm, I'm a deal. I think they pretty much, um, yeah, they're struggling a bit. Right, folks. Well, of course, as you know, Decro Paints is on board with Cape Rugby TV. And every week we show you a couple of DIY tips from Decro and maybe some of the highlights. But yes, Decro Paints um, is certainly your go-to product at the moment. Uh, you know, it's, it's DIY time. It's time for you to make sure that you have your... Uh, your paint supplies ready because uh, summer is here and there's now is the perfect time for you to be beautifying your house of course decro can help you make sure that you've done your uh, surface preparation uh, properly which is vital and of course um, and then your color selection now next week we're going to be giving away a couple of decro vouchers so make sure that you stay tuned for a couple of competition that we're running courtesy of decro we'll be running it on facebook and you'll be able to get yourself a voucher that you can Go and collect at their store um, uh, at N1 City. Um, they've got such a wide selection there. And of course, fantastic service as well. And you'll be able to do your color selection there, which is great. You know, maybe you've got an old wall that you need to paint, and you may need to make sure that you have choosing this, the exact same color as the, the other walls <laughs> in the room. And so Decro can help you out with that. www.decro.co.za. That's where you need to go to to find out more. They've also, of course, also got an online store, uh, but av available uh, widely. We'll take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at your final logs, your fixtures, and we go down to uh, Ravensmead, to Tigerberg, where we uh, manage to catch up with some of the under-21 players as they prepare for the um, uh, under-20, or at least the, the Rhino Challenge 10s uh, next on the 18th. Back in a sec. Mm -hmm. 